There is a word. There is a word. The word comes to us from the gospel according to Matthew chapter 6, verse 12. Matthew chapter 6, verse 12. And read as follows. King James verse that most of us are familiar with says, Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. The international version says, Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. God bless the word. And the topic that I'm using today is forgive us as we forgive. Forgive us as we forgive. No matter who you are, where you've been, or what you've done, God knows. In, 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 in the first series of this sermon that I've been engaged in on the Lord's Prayer, that first sermon I told you that God knows. Whatever's happened in your life, good or bad, positive or negative, God knows about it. In, in the second sermon, I told you that God is our Father. God is our heavenly parent. And, and as a child to a parent, we need to listen to Him. And then let him direct our lives and take care of us. In the third message, I talked about God's will. God's will is just that. God's will. Whether it's his intentional will or God's permissive will, nothing, get this now, nothing happens outside of the divine will of God. When Satan is giving you an L, it's he's operating within the will of God. It may not be God's perfect will for your life, but if God doesn't permit it, if God doesn't allow it, it can't happen. Hmm? And we need to learn to live in his will and live out our uh, 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 his purpose for our lives. Son before last, about all that. One day at sometime, sometimes, and for some of us, one of the greatest lessons that we can learn is to live one day at a time and depend upon God for daily guidance. Stop trying to do everything on your own for yourself and not taking Him into consideration, not making Him a part of the of the equation until you get into trouble. Some folks don't know the Lord until they get into trouble. So, you know, they won't even say a Bible verse before they eat. Unless they ain't got nothing to eat, then they want to quote the whole Bible. <laughs> now, now, now can, I, can, can, I, can, can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you for a minute, for a moment today? Can I really show you how to be honest with you? As I was preparing for today's sermon, I was tempted to tell you that the last sermon that I preached in this series was the last sermon. Somebody missed that. I was tempted to tell you that it. I thought about not preaching this one. Because this sermon today had some hard stuff in it. It had some stuff in it that many, if not most of us, won't want to hear. Now, you ain't going to shout today. You see, today, today I want to talk about forgive us. And we forgive. So, somebody missed that. You, you, you'll catch it later on. It's, it's going to be a rough ride today. So I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. Keep the pain down. We, we, we've, been, we've been 
been we've been talking we've been talking about prayer for the last several for the past several weeks. Specifically, we've been talking about the Lord's prayer. And a short time ago, uh, a few minutes ago in, in the service today, we did a demonstration. We, we got a lot on our plate, don't we? we? We carry a lot of things to God. Often, often our hearts and our spirits are heavy and burdened with our concerns. The lanes and the alleys of our lives are crowded with issues and anxieties, stresses and disturbances that won't turn us loose. And we carry all of that to God, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then the pastor comes along and tells you that you need to forgive that person who did you. You ain't got no money. And all the some teeth about going out the refrigerator and the cupboard. They done cut your hours at work. Somebody been messing with you, over you, under you, through you, and everything else. And the pastor comes and piles on top of that and tells you, you need to forgive somebody. There's no mistaking now. Here's the killer. There's no mistaking that the person did you wrong. It's not a thing you got to wonder about. Maybe they did. No, they did you wrong. But the pastor said that God told him to tell you that you need to forgive that person. You, you've been praying, but you wonder if anything is worth it. Take a good look at that jar down in front. Can y'all see that jar? Or uh, maybe that box. Can y'all see that box? It's dark. And it's murky. Wow. At first it was just kind of streaky. Yeah. But in time, it's, it's, it's that stuff done colored up the whole job. Yeah. Huh? And be, even before it was streaky, the, the water was clear. The water was transparent. Yeah. But now you can't see through it. Yeah. That's, how, that's how your soul can be. When you don't allow God's presence, when you don't allow God's to work in you. But, but when you sincerely ask God to come in and be with you, and when you allow Him to really start handling you and your life situation, let me back that up. When you allow Him to come in and really start handling you. You ain't just saying the word, but you mean it. Start handling you and your life situation. Something begins to happen. Now I want you to watch that job and, and periodically pay attention to it during the course of this sermon. Watch the job now. Now I want you to keep your eye on me every now and then. But I also want you to watch the job. Huh? You think you're going to do that? You going to watch the job? All right. Let's see. <laughs> just, just, just watch the job. Ain't nothing happening right now. It looks like. But, but keep watching the job. Periodically. As we share things with God. And as we turn things over to Him that we can't handle, His light begins to shine through the dark. Don't forget now, look periodically at the job. But let me get to the topic at hand for today. This petition of the Lord's Prayer. Y'all feel free every now and then. If you can't see, get up and look at the job. You won't bother me. But, but let, let me get to that topic. The petition uh, this petition of the Lord's Prayer is one that we all, all of us, really need to pray. Not only do we need to realize that we need to pray this petition, we also need to realize what we're doing when we pray this petition. But before we pray this petition, we really need to have a sense of what sin is. This, this is the most frightening of all the petitions 
of the Lord's prayer.